this is Stampy, and I am a wizard. And I am here hanging out in my wizard's tower. I have my brewing stand. I have all of my bottles of water ready to make my potions. I've also got, whoop, in this chest here, I got some stone tools and some torches, wizardy torches, flame in my hand torches, and I got some fish sandwiches because I'm very hungry. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the potion challenge. In this challenge, me and Squid are going to go head to head to try and make one of every type of potion that there is in Minecraft. Almost. There's a few potions that we're not doing. Uh, there's some potions that... Hello, Piggy Pig. Oh uh, yeah, there's some potions that you can't make on Xbox uh, that you can make on PC. So we're not doing the uh, breathing underwater potion. Also, uh, last minute we decided not to do healing potions. Uh, because to make a healing potion, uh, you need a melon. And getting melons might take literally forever. So we decided to skip the healing potions. And uh, we're not doing the breathing underwater potions. But apart from that, we're going to do a invisibility potion. Uh, fire resistance, regeneration, strength, swiftness, night vision, poison, weakness, slowness and harming. And we're starting off with pretty much nothing. So I got my tools. I got some food. So I don't need to worry about that. We've also got the nether portal built already. Uh, but apart from that, uh, we need to go around and gather up all of the materials that we need. Craft the... Uh, uh, well, brew, sorry, the potions, uh, put them in all of the item frames. First person to do that is going to be the victor. So you can see there's Squid's Tower up there, and uh, here's my Wizard's Tower over here. And it uh, looks like I'm ready a little bit before him. So the way we're going to do it is the way we normally do it, is we're going to sleep, and then uh, when we wake up in the morning, uh, that is going to be when we start. And it looks like Squid is ready already. So let's go and numb down a bit of my cake. Let's go into bed, and uh, we can go and begin the potion challenge. So as soon as I wake up, we can go, 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 go. And most of the things we need to get it's going to be in the nether. We've got to get lots of like magma cream and blaze powder and gas tears and stuff. But I think going into the nether like this naked <laughs> isn't going to be a, a good idea. So what I'm actually going to do is, oh look, there's a spider over there. One of the things we need more of than anything else is spider eyes. You need loads of spider eyes. Spider eyes and nether warts uh, are the two things that you need more than anything else. So what I'm going to do is I run over here and try and take out the spider. And then I'm going to go and try and find a good cave. And I want to go down and I want to try and get some mushrooms if I can. I also need to get some gold because uh, I need gold to make some golden carrots and uh, also hopefully get some iron so I can make myself an iron sword and oh no no spider eye yeah so I can make an iron sword and uh, so and uh, hopefully some iron armor as well and that will hopefully uh, protect me uh, a little bit more so let me go there's kind of a bit of a cave up there but it's kind of in a mountain let's go and uh, wander around here for a little bit and uh, see if I can find a cave something else that I'm going to need as well actually I'm going to need quite a lot of sugar so let's go and grab uh, a bit more of this sugar cane here uh, something else that I'm going to need to find is a uh, village uh, we need to have um uh, carrots. And so if I can find a village, I can try and steal some carrots. That's going to be very useful. Oh, look, there's a well over there. Is that is that the start of a village or is it just... Oh, I think it's just a, a random well in the middle of nowhere. So uh, finding a village or a swamp would be good. Oh, actually, while I'm here, let's have a, a look at my map so I don't get completely lost. So I, I kind of remember where our houses are. Kind of let's see where I am here. So the houses are in that little bit kind of sticking out in the middle there. So let's not get lost so I can find my way back. So <laughs> it's I, 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 don't, I don't know whether I I should have just gone straight into the nether. I reckon that's what Squid's going to have done, but uh, I don't know. We always have different tactics, and uh, sometimes he wins. Well, normally he wins, and <laughs> occasionally I win, but let's go and uh, see if I can find a cave, because I don't want to go too deep. I need to go deep enough to get gold, uh, but I don't really want to go uh, any deeper than that. But are there any mushrooms around here? You sometimes just find mushrooms on the surface. There's a bit of a cave down there. Oh, look, there's some iron here. Right, let's go down here then, and let's go and see if we can get a, a bit of iron and stuff, because I am going to have to go relatively deep in order to get the gold and that might actually be one of the uh, the hardest things to get out of the the entire challenge because apart from that it's all quite easy things uh, but things you need to get a lot of like getting never warp is going to be pretty easy to be honest like once we get uh, into a never fortress there's never war all over the place so uh, getting the gold might be the toughest thing so i might uh, go for that oh easy now <laughs> i might go for that first and kind of just get it out of the way to be honest and so i also getting all of this iron is going to be very good look there's loads of iron around here so i can go get this i might get some uh, coal as well while I'm here, uh, so I can make some more torches if I need to, and uh, also so I can um, 
uh, yeah, so I can uh, cook my iron. Actually, something that I need to do before I go too deep into the cave uh, is to get some wood. I'm going to need to to make an iron pickaxe, I think, to get the gold. I think you need an iron pickaxe to get gold. And so I'm going to need to to grab that uh, before I go any deeper. And there's uh, a few trees around here. So let me uh, go and hop upstairs here and uh, see if I can grab it. And I've got a little extra challenge for myself here. And it's just a personal challenge. I am going to go and try to, no matter what, stay calm. My problem with these challenges is <laughs> I panic a little bit and then my brain melts and then I just can't think about what to do and then I end up running around in a circle and doing nothing productive and yeah I do not want that to happen this time. I'm going to stay calm, I'm going to stay focused and just do what I need to do. I've got an okay star, I've got some sugar cane already which I can of course make into sugar and uh, you need sugar to make swiftness potions and uh, you also need it to make fermented spider eyes so I should probably explain everything I need. So I need uh, fermented spider eyes and you make them with spider eyes, of course, uh, sugar and mushrooms as well. So that's why I need the mushrooms. Uh, I also need uh, a ghast here, and uh, that's to make a regeneration potion. I need magma cream for fire resistance potion. And whoop, I don't need creepers. Let's go and take these out. Oh, please don't blow up. Oop. <laughs> I'm staying calm. See that? See how See how calm I was then? Normally, I would have been a massive panicky poos when that was going on. But I managed to stay calm, and I was able to take them out. And I can go grab a bit more of this iron. I might actually uh, set up a, a furnace while I'm down here and uh, start smelting some of the, the iron while I'm down here. So that way um, I can have some armor while I'm exploring the caves just in case <laughs> I do run into to more creepers. But I should almost have a, enough iron to make a, a full set of iron armor. So when I do go to the nether, it's going to help me out. And also, uh, while I'm down here, since it's dark, uh, there's a good chance of me running into a lot of spiders. And as I said, I need to get a lot of spider eyes. So uh, running into to lots of spiders will be very handy. So uh, here we go. It seems to be going quite deep. Deep, but it doesn't seem to be very confusing, which is exactly what I want. I want to be able to get my way back out the cave without digging straight up because <laughs> that might be a, a little bit dangerous. And how much iron have I got? Actually, I got 23 pieces. I'm not entirely sure how much you need to make a full set of iron armor, but I'm probably almost there already. So I am going to very quickly. And oh, look! Oh, look, I found a dungeon. Oh, it's a spider! It's a spider spawner! This is amazing. This is exactly what I needed. Right, just to make sure I don't die. I'm going to block it off for now, but I can get almost endless spider eyes. This is a massive advantage. I can't believe how quickly I found that. Right, let's go make myself a furnace. And now I can just keep killing these spider eyes. I might actually even be able to get a melon seed from there, which might have made the... I might try and be uh, clever and just try and make a, um, uh, a a healing potion anyway. Not because I need to, just to, to show off a little bit. <laughs> anyway, let's go and start all of that iron melting. And uh, that's going to get me an iron sword. And while that's going, I'm going to look uh, a little bit deeper down here just to see what's coming up. Maybe I might find some gold down here. Uh, does it go much further? Okay, this just leads to a dead end here. So I'm not going to find any gold in this cave. So what I might do is just take out as many spiders as I can and get loads of spider eyes. And uh, then I might head back up to the surface. And uh, once I've got all my iron, then go to the nether. And then maybe use gold as my, my final thing that I need to get. I might need to get some more uh, coal, actually. I didn't actually have too much. So I might get a bit more coal and put that in the furnace. And uh, then I'm going to jump in and uh, jump into the, the spider pit. And I'm just going to kill them for ages and get loads of spider eyes because I'm not lying I do honestly need I don't know how many I need but I need lots and they don't uh, always drop them either so I've got my iron sword here I might drop the the rest of all of that stuff in there let's grab my iron sword and let's dive in and try and take out as many as we can and they're waiting for me <laughs> they're waiting for me if I kind of stand here I can kind of just funnel them all towards me and try and uh, just take out as many as I can. <laughs> you can see them, they can still hurt me here, uh, but spiders generally aren't uh, too tough, so I should be able to take most of them out. And there we go, there's a spider eye there. Oh look, a bit more spare iron there. I've got a saddle and gunpowder. I don't need gunpowder. Uh, you actually use gunpowder to turn potions into splash potions, so they are useful, uh, but it doesn't matter whether they're splash potions. It doesn't matter how strong the potions are. They don't need to last for particularly long. And oh look, some enchanted books there as well. Don't mind if I do. Right, I guess all I need to do is uh, wait for some, some more spiders to appear. So I've got three already, and Squid's probably not going to have any yet. As soon as it's the daytime, there's not going to be uh, many spiders. So I am so, so glad. I need to remember this place as well. I need to remember... Um where this dungeon was so I can come uh, back here if I need to and to be honest uh, I probably will need to so I'm going to take out a few more spiders then I'm going to block it off and uh, then I'm going to go and uh, look in the the furnace and see if I can put some uh, some iron armor on to make me a bit tougher I might make it a little bit brighter in here as well I don't think putting a torch up there should stop them spawning nope they are still spawning just fine 
I'm going to probably end up breaking my iron sword by taking all of these out. Well, right, let's block it off a little bit then. And uh, let's go and see if I can make myself uh, a bit more armor then. So uh, how many... Uh, pieces of iron are smelted. I got quite a few and I managed to get some more from that chest as well And so I reckon I've almost got enough to have a full set. Uh, I just need the leggings and the boots uh, I think I do have enough though to make a full set. I also need to make that pickaxe a as well though are they, are they spawning? Maybe that torch is slowing them down. Let's break that torch, shall we? And see if they spawn a little bit more regularly. They do seem to be spawning slower than normal, don't they? I guess if I just leave it open, I'm going to go try and uh, grab a bit more of the iron that I think I went past. And hopefully uh, they're just going to be spawning anyway. Might get a little bit more coal on my way up. Don't mind if I do. And here we go. Look, there's some iron there, which I broke and just left sitting there. But there's another uh, four pieces up here. So let me break away this stone and uh, let's go and try and get uh, all of this. And I know that probably this is uh, the most boring part of the challenge. <laughs> Just killing spiders over and over again. Uh, but don't worry, uh, it's going to be becoming night now. Uh, which means there's going to be more stuff all over the surface and then uh, seeing as it's night I might just go and run straight down to the the nether and uh, I need to get blaze powder and uh, I also need to um, uh, get magma cream and a ghast here so things uh, are definitely going to get very exciting when I go down there and I got some more iron here I can actually put my uh, armor on might be a good idea uh, let's make the uh, the pickaxe first so I don't forget about that and uh, let's go and make myself can I make myself some booties there we go all I need now is the leggings, and I'm set. And come on, spiders! Bring it on! I'm not afraid of you! Yeah! Try and jump on my face, will ya? Try and jump on my face! There we go, and I got a spider eye as well. I got five spider eyes already. What I might do is go and uh, put everything that I've made, uh, just go and drop it off in the um, in my, my wizard's tower on my way to the, the nether portal. <laughs> Squid's not allowed to steal any of my stuff, so it should all be fine there. And come on, spiders! One will spawn in three, two, one... Spider! Oh, uh, now! Here comes the spider! No, you're not gonna spawn, you're not gonna do it for me. All right, let's go, let's go make my iron leggings then, seeing as uh, the spiders don't seem to be playing ball. I should probably try and work out exactly how many spider eyes I need. I don't, I don't exactly know how many. I know it's quite a lot. So I reckon if I get, uh, let's just get one more spider eye and then I'll leave. And if I need to, I can come back, uh, come back here. But uh, there's a good chance that I'm gonna uh, just find some more spiders uh, when I'm just sort of wandering around the place anyway. So I don't need to go uh, too crazy. But they seem to be spawning so slow. Like they normally spawn a lot more regularly than this, don't they? I think I found myself a bit of a rubbish spawn. And here we go, two at a time. <laughs> this is more like it. Let's go take these out. They've got to drop some spider eyes, don't they? There we go. I got one more spider eye. And so let me go and um, uh, put on my uh, iron leggings. Well, make my iron leggings and put them on. And oh, there's more coming. There are more spiders coming. Let's go and try and take it out if I can. Get back, get back, get back, get back. There we go. Did I get another one? Nope. No extra one. But I can go and break my crafting table. And actually, no, I need to make my... Have I made my leggings yet? I'm losing track. No, I haven't made my leggings yet. So I can go uh, make my iron leggings. And there's another spider in the background. I can break my crafting table. And uh, let's go and take out this one last spider, shall we? And uh, there we go. He's down. Any new spider eyes? Nope. But it's okay. I can come back here if I need to. Let's just have a quick look on the map then. And try and make a little mental note of where it is. So X274... I think I can rec uh, recognize this place anyway. I reckon I'll be able to find my way back here if I need to. That was very... Very, very lucky. So it's going to be night time now. So I'm going to want to be careful going back to the surface. Uh, I could go down and go for the gold now. Uh, but I kind of I kind of want to go to the nether. Now I'm fully kitted out uh, with all of my iron armor. I kind of want to go and explore down there. So all I need to do now is try and find my way out of this cave. I guess I just need to uh, follow where the, the torches are really. Where it's already lit up. Is that out there? Uh, there we go. There's the surface there. There's the moon just going down now. I think that was uh, pretty good timing. And so I can go and try and, if I just dig my way up here, make a little dirt staircase for me to go and hop up. And I'm staying calm. Do you see that? I was There were spiders jumping at me in the face and I stay calm. There's a creeper over there. I am not bothered by it. I am going to stay calm anyway. And uh, let's go and try and uh, find my way back home, shall we? Right, so that's, that's the cave entrance here. I think I can pretty much remember where it is. I'm just going to have a quick look around here just to see uh, if there's a swamp. Or maybe even a, a mushroom biome round here, which would be uh, really handy. Oh, I can see I can see some lights in the distance over there. Oh, look, there's another spider. Another spider. I need to remember to, to take these guys out. There we go. I got another spider eye there. I'm getting really lucky with this. I actually remember, I don't know if you saw it, but we did the Googlies challenge, where it was a, a quest to try and get as many loot from the Googlies as we could. And a Squid spent about two nights just trying to get spider eyes. And look, there's a village. There's a village over there. Right, hopefully... 
I hope against hope there's going to be some um, some carrots over there because I need a uh, lot of carrots to make golden carrots uh, uh, for quite a few of the different recipes. Uh, so let's go and have a look over here. Oh, there's another spider over there. I'm going to go and take him out just while I'm here and uh, then go over to the village and hopefully uh, come across some carrots because if there's not carrots then we're <laughs> we're going to be in trouble. But there might be uh, more than one village even if there aren't any here. I think is there some over there. I think I can see some already from over here. I think I'm going to have to take out this skeleton. Let's go and try and take him out if I can. And carrots! Don't mind if I do. Let's go and just try and grab uh, a whole load of these. I can't take all of them because uh, that's not going to be fair for Squid Nugget. I'm going to uh, only take a few of them. I'm going to leave the uh, the rest here. But I want to grab uh, plenty of them because I'm not sure how many I need. I think I've probably got more than I need. But to be honest, it's probably worth grabbing them anyway just to, just to get some food from them. So uh, are there any more carrot patches around here? Hello, guys. Why are you not all inside? Do you not know it's past your bedtimes? Are you going inside? I think that one's going to bed. Oh, I know why they're not in bed. Look at all their doors. <laughs> none of them can get inside <laughs> because none of them can get to the doors. Well, let's help out the village then, shall we? Let's do a little little step like that. And let's see if there we go. Up you go and indoors. <laughs> Actually, I could see if there's a... um. Uh, a blacksmith round here. There's sometimes uh, good stuff in the, the blacksmith's chest. I think, oh, here we go. I think there, there might be one over here. Let's see. If, oh, look. <laughs> there's a lot of people in that house over there. Is this a, a blacksmith round here? No, there's, there's got to be. I think there's always a blacksmith, isn't there? Maybe, maybe not. There's normally chests with some good stuff at the blacksmith's, but uh, it looks like I've got a, a rather rubbish village. And hello, sir, jumping up and down over there. Anyway, I can't, I can't get distracted like this. And no, you leave them alone. I can't get distracted like this. I need to, I need to keep focus. I'm not, I think, I'm not panicking, which is good, but I think I've gone too far in the other direction and I'm just too relaxed and I'm just not, I'm not focusing enough. I'm just sort of <laughs> getting distracted by playing with the villagers and all sorts. So let's get uh, a few more characters. Oh, I think there were some potatoes down there, actually. Don't mind if I do. And oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. That would be a whole troop of creepers. Let's try and make our way out of here, shall we? So where is my house? Oh, God, I've gone on a quite a wander, haven't I? I think the, the house is back in, in this direction. So uh, the last thing that I really need from the surface is uh, mushrooms is the, the last difficult thing for me to, to get. So I'm going to have to try and get... Uh, some mushrooms at some point but I'm not too worried about that mushrooms are they're pretty common and uh, when I go down into the cave uh, to try and get the the gold uh, there's a good chance of me just coming across some mushrooms in a cave as well so I'm not too worried about that and I'm getting uh, loads of um a load of uh, spiders on the surface there's a villager there a, a zombie villager and uh, can I get the spider? Ah, oh, no spider eyes, no worries. I think the <laughs> the uh, the skeleton's helping me take out that zombie there. And anyway, let's go and try and find my way back to the house. I think it's just on the other side of this mountain, if I remember. And uh, let's go and try and see what Squid Nugget's doing. I've not uh, seen him in a, in a very long time. And actually, I might use my stone sword for a little bit while I'm on the surface, because <laughs> my iron sword is actually not too far off being completely destroyed. And yeah, I do not want it breaking on me while I'm in the nether with, by being surrounded by a whole load of blades wouldn't be very much fun so uh, let's go and uh, put that away in my pocket for now and uh, let's go and make my way back to the house they're very easy to spot seeing as our houses are towers uh, it's very easy to see them glistening on the horizon and no mushrooms down here anyway no that would be uh, way too lucky just to find some line around there uh, I need I need quite a lot of mushrooms actually because uh, I need them every time I make a fermented spider eye and you need uh, fermented spider eyes for quite a lot of things so I'm gonna head home I'm going to go and put a lot of my valuable things inside of a chest and then I'm going to head into the nether and I can't see Squid anywhere. Yeah, he's not on the map, which means he is probably inside of the nether right now and uh, he's not died, so I guess he's doing okay. I was just worried that if I jumped straight into the nether, I'd get taken out almost immediately. So <laughs> yeah, I, I decided not to go straight in, but I guess he's a, a little bit braver than me. I waited until I got all of my armor and stuff. Right, so let's in this chest here. Let's go and store things. So let's put half my carrots in there. I want to put all of my... Let's just dump everything that I don't need to be honest. I don't need spider eyes. I keep the coal on me. Uh, I don't need the bone. Uh, I keep the iron on me if I need it. I keep the furnace on me. I'm not going to need the hoe. Uh, is there anything else important? I got all oh, sugar cane. I need to put the sugar cane in there. I do not uh, want to end up losing that. Right, that, This should be good. And so now I can go and uh, uh, set off again and uh, head into the nether. Sadly, though, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time on this first episode of the potion challenge. But don't worry, I'll be uploading the next episode very soon. And if you want to see it right now, uh, there'll be a link in the description. And if it's not there, uh, it will be there very soon, I promise. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!